Alexa, trigger, fuck up my electric bill. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Codexual. And as you saw in the previous video that I was using the Alexa Assistant uh, to turn on all of my computers. Now, you can do this with your Alexa app, or you can even do it with a web script, and you can do this outside of your network or even inside of your network. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, this video may be a little bit lengthy. There's a little bit, tiny bit of scripting coding involved, which is really simple to do, so don't feel discouraged from doing it. Um, this will definitely help you out, especially when I'm, an, uh, when I'm a streamer and when I do my IRL streams, I go outside of you know my network what city or whatever uh, uh, state I am in and, you know, I can't turn on my computers. So I uh, uh, tell the Alexa or I just hop on a web page and I just turn on the uh, computers to, you know, to start my OBS server. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get into it. All right. So if you're on Windows 10, I'll show you how to do it on here. Um, you want to make sure that your Ethernet adapter accepts Wake on LAN. So refer to your manufacturer if, you know, they support that uh, you want to hit the Windows key and X and it should show up with a menu button then it'll say power options you want to select that then you want to go to additional power right here and now we're at our power options so you want to choose what power buttons to do and you want to click on this change settings that currently unavailable or currently unavailable and make sure turn on a fast startup is unchecked marked. So go ahead and uncheck mark that, hit save. Then what you wanna do is uh, change plan options. Then you wanna go to change advanced power settings and scroll down and you're gonna do with, uh, you're gonna do this with every drop dropdown um, uh, option that there is, balanced high performance and power saver. So you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna select PCI Express, then link state power management. Then the setting, make sure it has uh, select off. So it might be moderate power savings, it might be maximum power savings. Make sure you select off. Then you're gonna hit apply, then you're gonna do the same thing with po high power and power saver under the PCI settings. Then you can go ahead and close out of this. Next, what you wanna do is hit the start menu, type in device manager or type in device manager. Then this will pop off. What you wanna go is select network adapters and select what your current ethernet um, port that is using, which mine is TP-Link. Right click, hit properties, go to power management, and make sure all this is check marked. Um, and we also want to make sure, you know, this is highly important, allow uh, magic packets to wake up the computer. Next, click on the advanced tab, scroll down, and it'll say wake on magic packet. Make sure the value is set to enable, not disable, but enable. Hit OK. And if you are not sure of which Ethernet port that you are on, you know, just do it with all of them. You know the ethernet um internet ethernet controller do it with that one as well um yours will say different but just do it with that if you're unsure which one that you're plugged into it doesn't hurt it all right now what you want to do is we're going to enter in the bios mode under the computer so go ahead and shut it down all right now we're going into our bios so usually it's f2 if you don't know how to get to your BIOS, refer to your um, manufacturer's motherboard, which will usually say on the screen what, what button to hit. So I'm just constantly hitting F2. All right. So I have the Ace uh, ASRock. I was about to say Asus. The other one's Asus, my other computer. Um, I want to go to Advanced Mode. Then go to Boot. And... Um, it might be under boot, and it'll say boot from onboard LAN, which my motherboard's Ethernet um, 
adapter that's integrated with the motherboard, it it has that function to wake on LAN. So we're gonna make sure that's enabled. Um, but however, I have a different Ethernet port, which uh, is PCI. So I'm gonna go down to advanced, then I'm gonna go down to ACPI configuration, and I'm gonna look for uh, PCIe devices power on, which is enabled, and it allows the system to be awake by PCI device and enable wake on LAN. So I'm just going to uh, go ahead and enable that, then hit exit, then save changes, and save yes, and we'll boot up the computer. All right, so now that the computer is fully booted back up, what we need to get is the Ethernet MAC address. This is what will signify of which computer is which and which to wake up. So before we do that, get yourself a wake on LAN program and you can simply Google it, do some research of which one is right for you. Um, I don't know which one to recommend because I don't use any of this. I use a router and a web script when I'm outside of my home, and I'll show you how to set this up after here, um, after this initial setup. So go to your inter network and internet settings, then change adapter options. Right click on your Ethernet adapter properties, or not properties, um, status, then details and it will sh uh, on the third line in it'll say physical address that is your mac address i'm not going to show mine but um that's how you get to it or you can just type in if config or excuse me ip config and command prompt and it'll show your physical mac address then you're going to put it in, in this format on towards your router if it supports it or whatever program you're using and all you got to do is hit send and it will wake up your computer that's basically it on the LAN side. If you don't want to um, have your computer wake up remotely, if you just want everything on the LAN setup, that's a done deal. The video is done. That is it. But if you want to access um, the network and get it to wake up outside of the network, then continue watching. I'll show you how to set that up right now. God damn, my hair is ugly. Anywho, um, this is this part, this next section is really important. So in the next section, to get things working properly, you need to have an already existing web server on your local network on a Linux machine. So go get a Raspberry Pi or set up a virtual machine with Linux on it. Um, you can't go wrong with the Ubuntu. Uh, I will have links below on how to set up an Apache and PHP server so you can follow along in the next step of this video. Um, if you do not have these functions on, it will not work. Just end the video and return later. Additionally, you'll need to port forward to access the web server so that the Alexa Assistant and if then then that functions can access your web server outside of the network. So that's really important. If you don't have any of this set up, end the video right now, follow the links in the description of how to get that all set up, then come back to this video and it'll show you how to set it up. So yeah. All right, a couple of things before we proceed, what you need to know and what you need is either one, if you have another computer that's always up and running, depending on what operating system it is if it's ubuntu then awesome this will definitely work in your favor if it's a windows then you need to set up a vm and run uh os uh uh ubuntu or linux on it and you're going to set up a web server on it i will put in a link description of how to set up a web server there's plenty of tutorials out there how to set up a web server but um just for your case you need to run a web server and it has to be Ubuntu. That's how I know how to do it, so that's how we're doing it. Um, you can buy yourself a Raspberry Pi and uh, do it from there. It's inexpensive. Um, and additionally, um, to use the Alexa Assistant app, um, this is an additional step if you want to have the Alexa Assistant app to work. Uh, you know, you need to make an account with if, then, then, that. They are for free to a point, and if you're just doing this with one computer, then you don't have to worry about subscribing and paying for the pro version, which is like five bucks, give or take. But um, the pro version 
enables unlimited amount of applets. Anyways, let's go ahead and start this. So I assume that you have everything in order and ready to go. What we're gonna do is go to our Apache um, folder. We're gonna make a direct. <clears throat> excuse me. We're gonna make a directory, and let's call this uh, wake on LAN. And what we want to do is, um, as for like security reasons, uh, make a index.html. So when people are trying to snoop on your network, oh, whoops. Do I already? No, 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 no. Uh, I need to go into wake and land. Need to go into that directory. So as for security reasons, when people are trying to snoop on your network, um, what you want to do is give a index.html and save it so it'll show up as a blank page when they visit your domain name or your IP address slash uh, WOL, then they won't see what's indexed. So next thing what we want to do is type in Pico, and now we're going to create a web script wol wake on land dot php and let's give ourselves that php function execute then wake on lan then you're going to put in your mac address i or not ip address but your mac address here so something within that format and we're going to close that off and control O to save it, control Z to exit. Next, you want to make sure you type in the wake on land function to actually execute wake on land. So apt install wake on lan dash Y. And it's already installed. So now all you got to do is visit that web script and it'll go ahead and well, as soon as you visit it, it'll turn on the computer just like that. Um, if you want a little bit more function to it, a little bit more of a graphics uh, detail with the website, um, there's this web script, and I'll show you it here in a second. So here's the web script that you can use, and it's more simple. Um, you can import, export, and uh, add the MAC addresses and assign it the uh, IP address or define it of what uh, a MAC address that is going to be with this IP address. So... Uh, you can go to clone and you can uh, download it as a zip. Uh, we're just going to get the whole entire code. Let's go to raw, control, and copy. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the current wake on land PHP. And we're going to type in pico wake on land PHP. Control O, control Z. And it's going to be needing this file name, Pico. Put in that file name. Grab this. Go to raw. Control copy. Right click. Control O to save it. Control Z to get out of it. Now, if we go towards the IP address of the machine, um, let me just move this on over. So if we go to um, wake on LAN, that directory, this is the index page, the index.html. So nothing is indexed. So when people can't snoop, but now if you go to uh, give it the full path, it will show the entire script. So you can put in the Mac address here and um, assign it the IP address of the machine and the subnet, the port and the comment you know, my computer, then hit add. So let's just go ahead and uh, yeah, that's fine. Add. So now you can click on wake up and it'll now wake up the computer. But however, um, let's go to the Alexa of how to set that up. So Alexa, shut up.
I need to recreate that script. Then the uh, MAC address. So now what we need to go do is go towards um, if then, then that, make an account, and I'll show you how to set up that applet. All right, once you are registered and logged in, click on the create button on the top right and click on if this and add, then you're gonna type in Alexa. Then say a specific phrase, then give it the phrase that you want, turn on PC, then add that, which is gonna be a webhook. Then make a web request then give it your uh, domain name or the IP address of your external IP address. And you know, this requires a port forwarding. So this is just an example. Then the pathway, wake on LAN, slash the Alexa.php of what we just created. Then the get method, there's a get, it's fine. Uh, content type, uh, application.json, that's fine. Leave it as that, then uh, click on create action continue, finish, then all you gotta do is is, uh, is say Alexa, trigger turn on PC. Then she'll say sending that to if, then it'll turn on your computer. That is it. So a little bit of web scripting, port forwarding, um, setting up a um, virtual machine if you want to uh, uh, get this on the external uh, if you want to remote control of this computer to turn on remotely. Um, I'm losing my words, train of thought, but that's how you do it. I hope that this video was helpful. Uh, it may look a little bit intimidating, but it's easy to do. Uh, again, tutorials of how to set up a Apache and PHP script will be down in links below or just Google YouTube of how to uh, install Apache and PHP web server, and it'll show up with a video. All right, you guys take care. Thank you for watching the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Take care. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.